A civic tech non-profit organization budget has called on the federal government to audit security spending and close loopholes for corruption in the budget process after its audit exposed numerous budget padding. Osarege Obawawan spoke with the founder of budget, Shen Ogidingbing, Onigbin I beg your pardon, and Ken Ife, an economist. Osarege is here with his report. A report by a civil service organization, Budget, has uncovered alleged cases of misappropriation in Nigeria's 2021 budget. The report shows recurrent expenditure items disguised within the capital budget and also exposes 316 duplicate projects worth over 40 billion naira. Budget padding has been a phenomenon that has plagued Nigeria's fiscal projections for many years. And um, I, when we looked into that budget is when we found many things. When we have found capital budget padding, where people just take provide items and label them as capital projects, and which has a direct impact on the people or has a long-lasting effect on the people. I also take exception to the fact that um, you have this ongoing padding, padding exercise going on, despite all the cries and news over the last six, seven years. It's still going on. The one thing that I wasn't very clear about is that when I looked into the report and found the, the irregularities and the consistency of these irregularities across a wide range of MDAs, I, I started wondering, does this have anything to do with the so-called constituency budgets? This audit exposes the weakness in Nigeria's budgetary process and the inability of government agencies in verifying budgetary allocations to avoid sharp practices and wastage of funds. I think when we all first have to look at the budget office, there seems to be no um, audited review of the budget that is sent from the ministries, from the line ministries to the budget office. Maybe in the midst of us to meet that December deadline, uh, we they have not expanded capacity to be able to really check into the budget and say this is things missing. Uh, and this starts from the budget officers that are in resident in ministries. Um, a whole lot of times, they might lack capacity to be able to properly put documents together or even be able to even write budget items in the structured way it should be. In the wake of these revelations, Nigerians have called for political will from the Nigerian government that would ensure a padding-free budget. Osaogie Ogbonwa, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.